The buddy, oh no. This plane right here is clearly on fire. We see flames shooting out. Flames of doom. Hellfire on the right engine. Here's another video clip. Look at this. This plane clearly on fire. Oh no. Pending death and doom and stop. Here's another view. Oh no, we can see, oh yeah, we can see those flames shoot out of the right engine. That was terrible. And oh no, more and more fire. This plane is in a lot of trouble. I don't know why, but I've generally been able to find like eight videos of this from people recording this on the ground on TikTok. Oh no, fire. And here is even a view from inside. Look at the 757 having fire on the right engine. Well, that's something that people believe. If it's Boeing, we ain't going. This one is hilarious. First Condor crash on Saturday, 16th, August of 2025. That was clearly not a crash. Yes, everybody. Y'all have heard the news of the 757 by Condor, flight DE3665, which was scheduled to fly from Corfu to Germany, Dusseldorf, right here on Sunday, which is yesterday. But shortly after departure right here, like genuinely, just after lifting off of the Corfu airport from runway 34, at very low altitude at around here before turning right, the airplane suffered from an engine fire. At least that's what we're led to believe by the media. Video, Germany bound Boeing 757 catches fire! <laughs> plane catches fire just after takeoff which makes me a little mad because calling this an engine fire is genuinely the same thing as saying that this audi r8 is on fire a little revving going on here oh oh no oh flames this thing is total no yes right today we're going to talk about the very interesting jet engine phenomenon of a compressor stall and what that means let's go ahead and simulate what happened yesterday at the Corfu airport and something that people are misled to believe all the time. See, we are in Corfu indeed. We're about to depart of runway 34. As you can see, um, according to the flight plan, we're going to do a nice little turn over the city. And this is what happened in real life indeed. The plane takes off here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing to worry about. And then suddenly it encounters a bird strike. Oh no, we hear a bird strike indeed. And something that we now would think would usually happen is an engine fire, complete fire. So something like that. Oh no, we have a continuous flame gushing out. Our engine is completely totaled. But that is actually not what happens in a bird strike at all. In fact, a whole engine being on fire is extremely uncommon. And what would rather happen is once again, this a compressor stall and let me genuinely try to explain to you what that means and why it's not actually that even big of a deal it actually happens all the time well it is kind of a big deal but yeah one thing about compressor stalls is that there's no proper flight simulator airplane that simulates it why i don't know this ultra realistic 757 doesn't have it either but there is one that i know of and interestingly it is this plane the bombardier challenger 650 which costs 120 dollars known as one of the most realistic airplanes ever made for any flight sim basically because it has every system electrical hydraulics genuinely everything simulated and it also has compressor stall let's just quickly take off this airplane right now and see what this is like. Let's quickly get out the failures menu and do a compressor stall indeed to trigger that and see what we've got right now. We see just what we saw in the Boeing 757 happen, little shoots of flames. Now, the question is, what exactly is happening here? Why are these little bursts of flames gushing out of the plane, just like the backfire of a supercar? Well, let me tell you, it's because of the same reason it's actually called compressor stall at all. See, these bad boys are engine blades and they are literally just small wings with the same aerodynamic principle of a wing and as we know one of these principles of a wing is the angle of attack which is the angle of the air that's hitting against the wing and the same thing applies here too these bad boys need a certain airflow and angle of air in order to push the air through the engine to then be mixed together with fuel and then be compressed and made hot and you know push faster outside and so a compressor stall is nothing different than an aerodynamic stall where the airplane would just fall out of the sky because of a too high angle of attack if the airflow isn't enough and the angle isn't good enough not enough air gets into the engine you know when the airflow is disrupted and what that means is 
that when fuel is put in here, there's too much fuel. And so the engine just backfires genuinely like a car because it's all about mixture of air and gas in here. So too little air coming through in front together with too much gas being put in here makes little little things. Now, how can a compressor stall actually happen though? See, with this add on airplane, there's two different types of compressor stall, a clearable and a non-clearable one. And I would use that to classify two different types of compressor stall scenarios. The clearable one can, for example, if the engine blades are maybe iced up or there is erosion on them, and so they don't really get air through really well. And then it starts going a little bit crazy, but it, it's able to fix relatively soon. It can just randomly happen because of a surge, but the non-clearable one means that there is actually something here that breaks the engine fan. Like, oh no, what if I put a pen in? That would be an unrealistic scenario. But if I put a pen in here, obviously there's not air coming through here. And that obviously can happen when things are ingested into the engine, like birds, as we just saw. Birds are the most common scenario for a compressor stall, meaning the engine will still spin, but it will not be able to get in enough air in order to actually work properly. You know what I mean? Ah, I try to explain it. Either way, let's maybe go ahead and simulate something. What is the thing about a clearable compressor stall? Trigger that quickly, we can see compressor stall going on. Now, we would be able to see that in the cockpit, of course. We have got very weird surging going on here in the cockpit. We can definitely hear a loud bang. The uh, uh, engine is over temperaturing slightly as well. And boom, boom, bam. What would you do as pilots now is put throttle down, put throttle to idle at best. And now when you're throttling down, the issue kind of fixes itself because the angle of attack is back. That rhymed. Now this is obvious in case that the engine is actually not damaged. Now what happens in a non-clearable uh, thing? For example, once again, a bird strike. You'd see the engine is in a lot of trouble. It's not very fun. You definitely notice a lot of vibrations right here and it's not able to provide a lot of power. As you can see, we can hear bang in here. We can see the engine over revving. And what would you do now is shut down the engine. And this is probably what happened on the Boeing 757 that once again had a bird strike. He would shut down the engine and then continue to fly. Interestingly, on the internet though, about this Condor flight, lots of people are complaining about why the pilots decided to not divert back down to Corfu, but actually fly for a whole 30 minutes to the south of Italy, where the hell Brindinzi is. Sounds like India. Is it even allowed to fly so long over the sea over with one engine? Why didn't the pilot just land back on Corfu and instead he decided to take the risk and fly to another country? I see a violation of rules and regulations here. I don't really believe that. It was smart not to land down here. Corfu airport can be a bit of a trouble with quite a lot of winds. The runway is extremely short, only 2,300 meters. Okay, that's not extremely short, but you don't have reversers you can use to stop. So stopping power is very much reduced here. I mean, for example, also now our case is once again single engine out scenario oh 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 did you hear that oh it's clearly struggling a little bit with one engine missing you can't go around very well and that is a big problem especially at an airport runway like this so i think it was a wise decision to decide to land at the other airport even though it's always easy to comment on that after the fact and to be fair that wouldn't have really been a chance to assess the damage on the other engine Anyway, our situation now would be, okay, we're in this Challenger 350. We have obviously quite a damaged left engine, even though it's still providing power. Once again, compressor stall may look scary, but while quite the emergency isn't that big of a death toll, I'd sooner have a compressor stall than a full-on permanent engine flame out. So everybody, thank you guys so much for watching this compressor stall video. Please add on developers, add proper compressor stall simulations. And so thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Good night. And a special thanks goes out to my members, my supporters. <laughs> Guns Killer, R27, James Deram, that dude, Anime Gods of Gaming, Derek, Insider Plane, Nishitsu Finer, Professional Jamal, Ryland Williams, and New the York. You've got beautiful names.